this interest uh, came from looking at the properties of NMR spins. In other words, we were, uh, have been focusing on the development of new methods based on carbon-13 direct detection, thanks to a strong interaction with Brooker, because of course, uh, in order to focus on uh, carbon detection, the sensitivity of the instrumentation is really important. While uh, focusing on this subject of IDPs, I was really uh, impressed by how all we know is uh, largely driven by the technology that uh, we have to, uh, that we can exploit. And I think this uh, uh, investigation at atomic resolution of proteins gives a clear example. So we have been able to do X-ray uh, of uh, crystals since essentially the 50s. Uh, but uh, on, on the other hand, we didn't have a tool to really measure dynamics at atomic resolution. And this is why, uh, thanks to this uh, technology of X-ray, and then of course also NMR to uh, determine 3D structure in a fairly easy manner, did uh, sort of push the community to focus more and more on the study of folded proteins. And of course with the years, the data accumulated in the protein data bank, explaining a variety of different functions. So contributing a lot to improving our knowledge on the properties of folded proteins. I think NMR naturally can uh, uh, provide a, a lot of information. On the other hand, uh, in particular, uh, to focus on intrinsically disordered proteins, you need uh, uh, high resolution because of uh, the properties of the proteins themselves that being highly flexible uh, are, um, provide resonances that are all very close to one another, causing the uh, typical problem of extensive cross-peak overlaps in the spectra. So, of course, uh, high fields, isotopic labeling, and uh, tailored experiments is uh, uh, very important to improve the methods to study IDPs. We all know that NMR is uh, great to provide both structural and dynamic information, and that's why it's, of course, a strategic technique in general to study highly flexible and dynamic systems, and, of course, in particular IDPs that are also quite complex. And uh, uh, despite this, uh, I think we can do a lot better if we think uh, at uh, how these properties uh, impact on NMR parameters. Because, of course, the, they will also provide some critical points that uh, we have not been thinking too much about <laughs> because we were focusing more on the study of folded proteins. And so if we think a bit uh, uh, carefully about uh, the impact of the properties of IDPs, like the highly flexible backbones, the largely exposed amide protons to the solvent, the high dynamics, then we can do a lot to improve further the NMR experiments to be able to study IDPs of increasing complexity.